Her? Tai Tai's niece? Yes, that's Anguan. She grew up right here at the palace. I haven't seen her in years. You know, dear, I've always thought of you as one of my very own daughters. <gasps> oh. Ayi, don't cry. <laughs> she hasn't changed. Just as sweet and kind as ever. Oh, how we used to play all day. Oh. Don't look so surprised. Your old father was once young too, you know. She called me... Boo Goo. <laughs> Boo Goo? The cuckoo bird? Hmm. And now Ang Guan's come back to get married at the palace. That's so romantic. Now I know a wedding is supposed to be at the family of the groom, but who would have predicted that ghastly flood would soak Zhu Wen's parents' house? I hear the house should be dry in a few weeks. Maybe we should postpone the wedding until... <gasps> it's all been arranged. Tomorrow our home is their home. Everything will be perfect. Musicians by the pond, lanterns strung up here, here, and here. Double happiness banners there, there, and there. Banquet table there. Aren't you going to go say hi to Wang Guan, Baba? Oh, she's all grown up now. I'd be surprised if she even remembers me. Baba! Then why don't you make her something to remember you by? A wedding present! <laughs> She'll be getting lots of gifts. She doesn't need one from me. And I'm much too busy with the preparations. I'm just happy to see her again. Well, I think she needs a gift from him. Kittens! Why, they look like... Like Bugu! Bugu who? The palace kitten, when I was growing up here. Oh, you mean Baba. He's still with us. Excellent calligrapher wrote all your invitations. These are his kittens. Donggua, Sagua, and Shigua. Mischief makers, every one of them. But don't you worry. They'll be confined to their quarters during the wedding. Bugu's kittens. Hurry and get to the harbor. Ju Wen's boat will be docking any minute. Count me there, my delectable honey dumpling. Wait! You can't go without the honor guards. <laughs> now all you need is your gaito. And remember, no peeking. Sit tight. I'll be right back. And then, we put it in the envelope and sneak it down with the other gifts. I don't know, Sogwa. Are you sure Baba would want to give her something so... so silly? It's not silly. Now, are you going to help me or not? How can I be huh? sure? Oh, I hope he's not too stuffy and serious. What if he doesn't like me? What if I don't like him? Shigwa? Meow! Shigwa! Unguan? <gasps> there you are! Hurry, you're... Ayi, could I please have this kitten with me before the ceremony? She calms me so. It would be such a shame if my nerves were to... to spoil the lovely wedding you've worked so hard to give me. Oh, all right. But hurry, your sedan awaits! Mm-hmm. <gasps> 
wish I could say the same. I'm so nervous about getting married. Welcome, Zhu Wen. I want this to look nice. You saw how happy Angguan was when she found out we were Baba's kittens. Well, I want her to be just as happy when she sees his gift. They're making her a gift? From me? <sighs> <sighs> Yuck! <coughs> Come, we have a wedding to attend. I... I can't get married like this. I'm soaking wet. Hmm. Oh! We won't take the sedan chairs to the palace. We'll walk. Flap our arms briskly. We'll be dry in no time. The magistrate and some guy flapping their sleeves like a couple of wet bats! Oh, it was... <laughs> Fufu, you can fly it over! For me? Oh, Sagwa, you shouldn't have. No, not for you. It's for Angguan and... Ju Wen, the groom. That's who you saw with the magistrate. Did he... Did he look stuffy and serious? No. I'd say more wet and silly. <laughs> so, you want this delivered airmail, do you? No! Not that way! That way! Look, Shigua, a bat. A good luck symbol. Always nice to be appreciated. Uh -oh. ah! My hair! My hair! Yeah! <laughs> Not yours! Oh, this is most undignified. I look like an absolute fool in this wet robe. Won't do for Angguan. I'll need a new one. We sure made a mess of that. And we lost Bubba's gift. Here, we've brought a bit of our feast for you. Just a little thank you for making our wedding day so special. You gave us the greatest gift of all. The gift of 
wedding turned out to be. But my perfect plum, you've created a most wonderful and um, memorable wedding. <laughs> if two people share laughter, then they will truly be able to share a life. What on earth are you staring at? Dessert. <laughs> okay, here's another one for you. When did the shark swim into the fisherman's mouth? Who is he talking to? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a good answer. When the fisherman swallowed the shark fin soup. Come on, yeah, yeah, stop talking to yourself. Let's play. <laughs> Not now, Sagwa. I'm talking to our little cousins. Cousins? That's silly. Our family doesn't live in the water. Our family is bigger than you think. Careful now. You don't want to... <laughs> fall in. <laughs> and someday your old Yaya's advice might be worth listening to, my curious granddaughter. Come and play with me, yeah, yeah, please. Uh, not just now. It's time for my nap. Goodbye, little cousins. Talking to the fish. I can't believe him. <gasps> huh? Good. I see I have your attention, little niece. I'm sorry, but I'm not your niece. Um, Mr. Fish? But I am not Mr. Fish. I'm Uncle Catfish. I am a cat and a fish. How could you be both a cat and a fish? Ha <laughs> ha, so clever. A riddle for me. You truly are your Yeye's granddaughter. <laughs> Tell you what, I will answer your riddle with a story about my ancestors. They made me the proud catfish I am today. Sure, why not? I don't exactly have anything else to do. Once, in a time long past, there was a young cat. Shin Shin was her name. This cat also had a ye, -ye. Like you, she thought he was silly. Yes, I agree, respected uncle. Teaching my granddaughter to purr like a songbird will give her a talent to share with others. Please, Ye Ye, talking to your ancient ancestors that way, how embarrassing. But I was just asking them about your future, my dear. What you will desire, who you will become. Ye Ye, I never knew them. They can't know anything about my desires or me. But my ancestors are your ancestors. It is the thread connecting us all. Then maybe it's time for that thread to be cut. My apologies. Please forgive me. Xian Xian thinks only of herself. She doesn't value her ancestors. I know, respected uncle. But give her time. She is young and has much to learn. 
She says perhaps we should help her understand how important one's family truly is. You can only imagine what her ancestors planned to do. I hope they told Shen Shen to be nicer to her Ye Ye. Hmm. Perhaps she had to find that out for herself. Shen Shen was preening herself by the lakeside. How nice those water lilies would look in my hair, she said. But as she reached for the flowers, her ancestors swirled their <gasps> magic around her. And into the water she fell. Help! Down, down she swirled, fascinated with an underwater beauty she had never seen before. She tried swimming free, but was trapped deep under the cold water. She yowled in panic for Ye Ye to come save her. But when she opened her eyes, who did she see instead? Hello, my name is Kalok. Let me help. Be calm. I'll show you how to breathe down here. Air in. Air out. Slowly. That's right. I am Shen Shen. Thank you. You're welcome, Shen Shen. I would ask if you can swim underwater, but I think that answer is obvious. Please, let me show you. She became enchanted with this new world. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Still, she missed the world above terribly. What is it, my friend? Just reminders of what I left behind. Shen Shen, come with me. Where are we? This is where I am from. Shen Shen saw the fish with their families and realized how much she missed her own. Especially her own grandfather. Oh, Ye Ye, how you two would be enchanted by all this beauty. Kalo, your home is wonderful, but I, I wish I could share what I see with those I love. Shen Shen, wait! There is a way you can go home and see them again. You mean it? How? And this time, I'll show proper respect to Ye Ye and all my ancestors. But... But what? But if you go back to them, you can never live underwater again. Or be with me. This is getting good. What did she do? Oh? I can't seem to remember. Tell me, tell me, please. <laughs> Such a curious kitten you are. Oh, yes. Shen Shen had a terrible choice to make. On the one fin, she missed the family she left on land. But on the other, her new fish friend was so good to her and had so much to share with her about this new life. And one day, she noticed a change in herself. Last one to the shallows loses. No fair. You're a natural swimmer. So are you. Look! My paws! They're webbed! Like a frog's! So strong for swimming! And my tail! Look! See how you can twist and turn in the water? A goldfish would envy it! I am both! Cat and fish! How strange! How wonderful! I wonder if... Would you become part of my family? Will you marry me? Your family? Marry you? Oh, ye What is it? To join your family, I must give up my own. Her choice weighed heavily. There was just one voice who could offer help. I'll be back, I promise.
Yeah, yeah? Could it be you? I've missed you. And I missed you, my child. But I am not here alone. You and the ancestors are wise about things I don't understand. Yes, my dear. Your words, like you, have grown. Tell us, what troubles you so? Kalo has asked me to marry him. But that is wonderful news. I know. But to become part of his family, will I have to give up my cat family forever? She says you can never get rid of something that makes you who you are, even if you wanted to. Shen Shen married Kaolo, with the good wishes of both of her families, the cat and the fish, the old and the new. And she was never happier, and always grateful for the wise new things her fish family taught her. And every time she tried to find food on the muddy bottom, or calmed the waters with her soft purr, she gave thanks for her cat ancestors' gifts. It wasn't long before there were little fish around. Fish with the qualities of both parents, cat and fish. Perhaps now you understand. Shen Shen is my great-grandmother. So you really are a fish and a cat. My Uncle Catfish. I didn't believe my yaya. How disrespectful I was. I have to go tell him how proud I am that I'm part of his family. And yours, Uncle Catfish. Yes, be proud of the family you know. But don't forget about the family you don't know. The ancestors who made you who you are today. Goodbye, little niece. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How long were you there? Long enough. Here's a riddle for you. What kitten learned to listen by talking to a fish? <laughs> uh, whoa! <laughs> whoa. Oh! And who got very, very wet? Us, yeah, yeah.